Now I know it is incredibly strange to be making a review video of a game that came out two years ago. But if you were like me and you have a PC and you have been waiting two years through all the delays and all of the stuff spitting out by Rockstar and having to listen to all of the PS4 and Xbox kids tell you how much we're missing out and how the PC is substandard because the exclusives on consoles are so much better and make them worth the money. Well then I think there's some justification in making this video. For those of you that have been sleeping under a rock after a very long wait, the release of GTA 5 for PC finally came out. It launched on Tuesday, and as I'm releasing this, today is Wednesday or something like that. So it actually released in the UK, and which means that Monday we were able to play it in the States. Prior to that, the game was able to be preloaded onto systems for a week, and to tell you what, I was a little worried. Given that all the launches of previous AAA titles have been relatively poor, I was uh, apprehensive, I think, to, <laughs> to, to an understanding level. I was very surprised and shocked that everything, from the online fashion to the single player, everything booted up for me perfectly, with no incidents. Now I do know after reading some things off Reddit and hearing some horror stories, that there was some little glitches, some bugs, things like that. But overall, this was a very positive release for Rockstar. Before I jump into my thoughts and my opinions on what's going on with it, I wanted to tell you guys that I, I had a conversation with my friend The Black Glove. He's been in a few of my videos, and we kind of both agree. The only reason that this game was delayed for so long was to sell consoles. And, and what a good way. It's a huge franchise. It's a huge name. It is like... I think it's still the largest revenue-based game ever created, like the largest entertainment thing ever. It made more money than anything. And what a good way to push inferior products than to put something that you can't get anywhere else that has such popularity so that you can move those units. Now, given all that, I had plenty of faith. And from the thing is, is like the beginning, Rockstar said that, oh, if there was interest from the PC community, they'd make a PC version of the game, which was bullshit to begin with. There was a, a PC Gamer article that said, this has been in development ever since the game was being developed. It was originally made for the x86 platform, which means it was developed on a PC and then ported to consoles. Uh, essentially, it was already ready for PC, but... Um, yeah, they, they delayed it for, for that purpose alone. That is a little bit shady, it's a little gimmicky, whatever. But after waiting for two years and putting, gosh, I got I got almost four hours and given that I have a kid and a wife and a job, four hours in the first day is pretty good. Uh, and, and I am pleasantly surprised and it has been well worth the wait. Originally when GTA 5 dropped, I did pick this up for the Xbox 360. It was absolutely unbearable. As much as I enjoyed the story, the new functions, the different little things that you could do as far as jumping around different characters, different plots, different storylines, different adventures, everything that the game was positive, there was so much negative. In fact, when I went to play the game originally, I was unable to complete the storyline because it used to frame rate so hard that during a particular driving mission, the game would crash on me and I was unable to continue any further. That led to me turning the game in and, and not playing it and deciding I'll just wait for the PC release. Now that I've been playing it on PC, this is, it, it's unbelievable. One of the big things that stuck out of my head about playing it on Xbox was the, mi the, the mission early in the game when you have to take the little submarine under, that frame rated to about one or two frames a second. It was so stuttery and horrible. I just, it was unbearable. I have not had any of this, the, the same issues. The gameplay that you're seeing and the scenes that I'm putting up, this is on ultra settings, 1080p, everything maxed out, 60 frames a second. And I could be pumping out more, but I do have VSync on just to stop the screen tearing. For those of you that have not checked out my link below, I do have a pretty monster system. 
although it's nothing that's out of the realm of most people's standard builds right now. I have a GTX 970, and that is just crushing this game. And I tell you what, if you can't tell, it is absolutely beautiful. And the difference is night and day from the console version. Now, I'm making this video because I do have a comparison. I have played it on both ends. The little frame rate, stuttery, stagging garbage that I could not get, I could not even complete the game through, is not present in the PC version. Aside from just the, the graphical stuff, and I tell you what, if you get into this game as a PC gamer, you want to see graphic options, and this game has everything. You can increase, decrease population densities, motion blurs, all of the anti-aliasing stuff, everything. It is absolutely amazing, and it's what a AAA title should do for the PC community. After a few missteps, particularly with GTA 3, that launch, GTA 4 kind of brought that back, then the modding community got a hold of it. This game could have quite a bit of longevity. There is a huge group of people playing this game right now that are very interested in the online part of it as well as playing the heist and for me it's it's both i want to play both i want to finish the storyline that i was unable to finish and then i'm trying to get some friends all grouped together so we can play the heist missions the online version of this game it is it is everything that i wanted this game to be from the onset the things that you will really notice if you play this on console versus playing it on PC is just the plain smoothness. When they developed this game, they didn't have the hardware for the older models. I don't know how it was playing on the new consoles, but I did hear that it was, I think it was a 900p, maybe 60fps, but that would be pushing. It's hard for me to believe that that hardware could push a steady 60 frames a second. That is not the problem on the PC, it is very well optimized, and I can only assume that it's going to get better. There is some little, some funky things as far as optimization for uh, CPUs I heard that are uh, uh, two cores. You know, if, you, if you're not running a quad core, you may have some troubles with this, but there's always workarounds and the community is steadily working on making sure that just about everyone with a PC can play this game. The other things that really I noticed is the attention to detail in the first person aspect. This was something when I bought it on 360 that was not available. And so the development of the first person point of view in this game, it really gives it another dimension. And I like that about it because if you're someone who was a Call of Duty guy, a Battlefield guy, likes that first person feel of things, it really gives you... I mean, it gives me that sense of like a Far Cry game, something where I'm a little more into it. it, it that third person can kind of get a little bit of annoyance with, with the camera angles and sometimes just take you out of it. At least that's my opinion. The ability to switch back and forth, particularly with the driving stuff, is uh, it's key for me because I am possibly the worst, absolutely worst driver in Grand Theft Auto history. As I post more videos, I may make a montage of all of the ridiculously horrible crashes that I make and the, the bad driving skills that I seem to perform. This game was proven already. It, it was a great launch. The consoles did well with it. Again, like I said, it, it, it made more money than any entertainment thing ever of all time. So it's already proven. And to be talking about it two years later is pretty impressive. I will say that I do believe Rockstar did the right thing. At two years, most of the people that played this game previously, even if they were PC gamers, they're ready to play it again and they want to experience it in the full fidelity that can be provided to them by the systems that they have built. And so, although they got me to pay $120 for two versions of the game, I'm not mad about it at all. I'm happy because they actually put the time in, and to me, it has been well worth the delays. You can tell the polish is there, and the attention to detail was made correctly. There are so many things about this game that could have gone poorly. There is so many things when you have countless, countless dollars invested into the development of any AAA title that there's so many hands in the pot, so many things can go wrong. And I'm happy to see that Rockstar did the right thing, delayed it appropriately, and then put out a finished product. I have only, like I said, been in four hours of this game. 
but as far as I can tell, they paid attention to everything that need to be paid attention to. The game is running flawlessly, and I can only imagine that with optimization, as further patches and things come out for this, that it's only going to get better for people with lesser systems. That is always the problem um, for most AAA titles and new games, but it seems to me, given that their requirements for this game are really not too bad, and most people with built systems in the last four or five years will have no problem playing this. You may not be able to get ultra, you may not be able to get high or extra high, but you're going to be able to play the game and it's going to run great for you. Guys, if you're looking to experience this on PC, it is well worth the money. It is a different experience than what the consoles can provide. I can almost guarantee you that. And if you played on previous generations, the 360 or the PS3, definitely look into it if you have a PC that can run it. Guys, my name is Tony 2.0. I'm giving this my stamp of approval. It's 10 out of 10. Would GTA 5 again? And I already did. Guys, thanks for checking this out. Peace.